Hey everyone, welcome to today's deep dive into the intriguing world of research methodologies. Today, I'm here to unravel the battle between two giants in the research field, quantitative versus qualitative. Let's kick things off with quantitative research. Picture this, you're counting how many students prefer coffee over tea, that's quantitative research. It's all about numbers and measurable forms. Whether it's through surveys or experiments, this type of research quantifies the data and generalizes results from a larger sample population. Now, flip the coin and you enter the realm of qualitative research. Imagine sitting down with a student to explore why they prefer coffee. What emotions does it stir? What memories does it evoke? Qualitative research dives deep into these textures of human experience. It's less about how many and more about why and how. Techniques like in-depth interviews, focus groups, and even projective methods like word association are tools of the trade here. Why does this matter, you ask? Well, in fields like psychology or marketing, understanding the why behind actions can be more enlightening than the how many. For instance, if you're curious about what drives a consumer's loyalty to a brand, qualitative research helps you uncover those hidden layers of human motive and emotion. Both methodologies have their strengths, and often, researchers combine them to get a fuller picture. This approach is called mixed methods, and it harnesses the power of both quantitative data and qualitative insights. So whether you're a budding researcher or simply a curious mind, grasping these concepts can enhance your understanding of the world around us. Remember, the choice between quantitative and qualitative often depends on the question you're trying to answer. Thanks for tuning in. Stay curious and keep exploring. Until next time, keep pondering the why and the how many in everything around you.